All right, man. Dan Du Bois is reportedly suing Don King over his fight with uh, Trevor Barn for lack of paid wages. So he said he ain't been paid yet. And this ain't that PBC back end money. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Let me see if I can find it. He's going to have to get his money out the mud. <laughs> and it's messed up, though, bro. But, man, you know, people still having issues with Don King, and Don King's still alive. Come on, the boxing game, not literally, but figuratively in the boxing game. But Don Dane the boys have now filed a lawsuit against Don King's company, Don King Production. This which alleges the breach of contract because he has not been paid for his fight with Trevor Bryan in June. So in June, June. So it's been June since he's been paid. Sorry if y'all hear Mason barking. I don't know what he's barking at. That dog just be barking at nothing. But yeah, he said he said he ain't been paid. So I mean, it is what it is. You know, but if you ain't been paid, bro, you gotta look at you gotta look at you know. You know, maybe they won't let Don King get no more purse bids. But if you ain't been paid, bro, I mean, I'm looking at my manager funny. Like, you ain't get paid nothing. You ain't get no advance. You know, you ain't get no advance or nothing. To me, that's a problem. You know, I don't wonder if Dimitri Bivol got his money, you know, because they was tying his money up because of the war in Russia. You know, but... It is what it is, man. And he said he ain't got his bag. And you gotta be looking at your management funny. Real talk. I'll be I'll be looking at them niggas hella funny, bro. Like, come on. The WBA, everybody involved. I'll be like, bro, what is y'all doing? That's June, dude. We go out, we in August. We literally in August. And he ain't got his money. And he, I mean, I'm pretty sure he got something up front, right? I'm pretty sure he got something. If he ain't getting nothing up front, man, he need to be. He need to be looking at firing and firing, you know, firing people he working with, bro. He fire your management. He should have knew. See, man, he man, Don King still out here shysting people. He was like, well, they, you know, they, they had a business together with Don King, man, shit. You mean Don King don't give me my he don't give the boys the boys my, give me the boys my money give me my money. He ain't been to drag his ass all across the world, bro. But you know it's, it's the price of doing business. You know, but I mean I mean when he I don't know if they've been in contact and say money on the way, sir, or he been he been jiving them or whatever. But I don't know. I don't know. He been job jobbing him. But I wonder if Trevor Bryan get paid. He ain't said nothing. He probably ain't got paid neither. He probably ain't got a he probably ain't got the bag neither. So I mean, come on, we can look at the article, but shit, Don King still getting these niggas, man. Don King still out here. And then Rayfield dropped the report. I don't know what they barking at, bro. Boy, man, them chihuahuas and mini pins. That's a fierce, that's a fierce, you know, breed right there, bro. They feisty. But it says that uh hold on, let me see if we roll down. It says Dane the boy sued Don King for non payment for KO O'Brien. It says that after English Dane the Boys came to the United States and knocked out Trevor Bryan and win the WBA regular heavyweight title on June eleventh. He uh, he left with the belt without a purse uh, money. Promoter Don King owed him for the fight. He alleges lawsuit. Hold on one second. Bro. They saw. It. They not gonna stop. But it says uh, the boys on Monday night sued Don King Production and Circuit Court in Broward County, Florida, alleging breach of contract because King's company has failed to pay him for the bout which he won by one side of fourth round knockout at the casino Miami. Jali in uh, Miami. He should know he fighting at the Jai Aliyah. In Miami, he should do something up. He said, "Fighters, the fighter hasn't got paid, and when the boxers get in the ring and risk their lives, the most important obligation of the promoter, the sanctioned bill body, and the commission is to see that they are paid. They has it hasn't been done here." Leon Marga Lewis, uh, Du Bois' attorney, told Big Fight uh, Weekend on Tuesday, 
King's from uh, King's Brian uh, Brian's promoter run the per- fight to uh, promote the fight uh, at the WBA purse bid on March 21st with the offer of three million one hundred eleven thousand dollars to beat the two point five million from Du Bois promoter Frank Warren Queens Bay promotion under the terms of the purse bid. Brian was entitled to fifty five percent one point seven, and Du Bois was entitled to forty five percent one point four. That's a good lot of money. According to a lawsuit, a copy of which was obtained by Big Fight Weekend, the boys are suing for somewhat between nine hundred thirty-eight thousand and four hundred sixty-three thousand over that. The reason for the discrepancy, as outlined in the brief six-page suit, not including various ex- exhibits, is because the boys is unsure whether the King paid the sanctioning fee to the WBA or what was to be paid of his purse to the IRS to cover his bill as a foreign boxer. So, I mean, there you go, right there and there. So. Uh, I mean, so there you go. So the king handled, you know, pay, you know, his foreign tax and all that. I mean, you know, who knows? I mean, it is what it is. I wouldn't bank on it if I was him. I wouldn't bank on it. He's going to have to get legal fees. Don King had to pay up all that shit. If he ain't paid them, and maybe King got a different side of the story. You know, like I said before, it might be different sides of the story. What if they bet their purses or whatever? You just you never know no you just never know no more in boxing. You never know. Let's well, see what King got to say. This is an abomination. <laughs> you know he's gonna come over here and say some crazy shit. <laughs> you know he's gonna come and say some crazy shit. Well, this is an abomination of the proclamation of the emancipation of to emancipate the brother. You know I know the boys is a brother, but he's an English brother. You know, and and we gonna make sure he all right. You know, but if I'm the boys, you know, you might take that flight over there and, and get your Mike Tyson on on Don King. You might have to. <laughs> you know, mind to go Mike Tyson on. But you know. The parties also enter into WA championship bout contract with indicates that three percent of the boys' purse of four, over forty two thousand was supposed to be paid to the WBA for sanctioning fees for the bout form his purse the said pursuant the US federal law because the boys was a foreign national. Uh thirty percent of his four hundred and twenty thousand was supposed to be deducted from the purse on his behalf as income withholding to tax due to the United States Internal Revenue Service upon payment of his purse. So damn, they got thirty percent of his purse too. That nigga came over here and didn't make shit. <laughs> no wonder them UK guys don't want to come over here. I'm blaming them. Well, actually, the sum of twelve hundred was also supposed to be paid to the boys' purse as a WBA manager license fee for his manager Martin Bowers. Damn, these niggas, man. I don't blame these for not paying these sanctioning uh, bodies. I don't blame them. They, they in your pocket like this your hoe. <laughs> Real talk. You know? Like, Jesus Christ. The boys, like, you really came over here for a fake title? You could have kept that shit, then you ain't get paid. So you pretty much fronted your own money coming over here, and you, you lost. You know, and you lost. You know, I mean, you, you, I mean, you lost. You won, but you know, you lost money. You lost, you know, money. But I mean, hey, me shit. Got the title. I bet the WBA. If they ain't got their money, you'd have heard from them. <laughs> Let's continue on. Additionally, four hundred seventy-five thousand was paid uh, by Queensbury Promotions to DK, DKP Down Key Promotions as a licensing fee for the rights to broadcast the event on live television in UK. So, uh, so Queensbury Promotion gave them four hundred seventy-five for the licensing fee, which the boys agreed to uh, credit DKP, leaving them out four hundred sixty-three thousand as a total net amount 
the boy was supposed to receive immediately after the bot was completed. To date, Don King promotion has yet to pay any purse monies due to this, uh, the boys, despite demand and despite the state of uh, Florida Department of Business professional regulations opening navigation of Don King promotion. The suit also said the British Boxing Board of Control, which regulates the boxing in the United Kingdom, has tried to assist to getting the boys his money. On both June 23rd and July 6th, Robert Smith, the president of the British Board of Boxing Control, emailed Patrick Cunningham, the executive director of Florida Athletic Commission, to put it on notice that he was aware that Don King promotion was failing to pay the boys his purse monies and requesting the commission assistance in helping to secure the boys' full purse. The suit also said, uh, said and sent letter on July 18th, Don King promotion WBA and the investigators appointed Florida demanding that the boys' purse be paid in full. So, you know, it is what it is, but you won't do no business with Don King again. He still might not get his money. He still might not get his damn money, nigga. He probably be looking out there left, right. <laughs> I mean, shit, Don King still, Don King still doing his thing, bro. He still doing his thing, but I mean, I mean, it's a learning experience, you know. It's a learning experience, but. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't even know what else to say, bro. That Don, Don King, Don, Bob, man, I'm still running game on people, too. Still got these dudes in, in, in slave contracts and, and stuff of that nature. So, ain't shit pretty much new. Don King, you know, he just, Bob King and Bob Aaron going to be, going to be doing this game today, old and gone today, banned from the sport. That's what we can say. So, I mean, don't surprise me. I hope the boys get his money. But damn, they tax him on the international. That's why none of them niggas want to cross the pond. Either way. Either way, bro. These dudes, when they get their purses, you might see $10 million on them. When they get their purses, they don't know how to deduct all that shit out their purse. Man, what they really going to end up with, man, if they pay everybody, man, promotional fees, manager licensing fees, sanctioning fees, all that type of stuff, man, what they going to end up with is... About four or five million dollars if they lucky. If they lucky. You know, and it's you know, it's a grimy game. You know, one of the dudes, you know, from the counterpunch uh documentary, he says the same model because Steve Harvey was you know uh talk uh revealing the model how they keep actors in Hollywood broke. He said the same model they use in Hollywood, they use in boxing. So shit, it is what it is, man. But um let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Check the box news playlist out. Hope the boys get his money. See what Don King got to say when he clap back. Finance, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Limo, CJ Good 313. PayPal in the description. Finance, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Limo, CJ Good 313. PayPal in the description. Hit my link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Limo, PayPal. Um, find me on Twitter. All, all the whole nine, man. You can find me everywhere there. Apple Podcast, Spotify. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the heavyweight boxing playlist, the boxing playlist out for more videos like this. One time for the one time piece.